Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mark's deadly target is Chad, Clyde reveals horrifying information mission Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers indicate that if Clyde Weston, James Red, has anything to say about it, Chad DeMera, Billy Flynn, might be in serious jeopardy. Fans of DOL are aware that Clyde is planning to steal the DeMera riches in order to keep it for himself. Placing Annalyn McCord's character, Abigail DeMera, in a position to marry Chad is the first step, but there's more to this. It appears that Clyde's true goal is for Abigail to inherit the DeMera family riches and become a prosperous widow. Let's take a moment to consider what Clyde has planned for Chad following his marriage to Abigail. During the week of October 7th to 11th, Clyde will meet with Mark Green, Jonah Robinson, to discuss that. According to teasers for days, Clyde will deliver orders as usual, but this time he'll surprise Mark with what he expects. The doctor will have to consider his own limitations because Clyde will push things further than Mark is comfortable with. During this encounter, Day's teasers say Clyde will urge Mark to do something absolutely horrible. It turns out that after Mark marries Abigail, he will be compelled to remove Chad off the map, presumably so that Chad's new widow will be entitled to everything. Mark will undoubtedly object because that truly goes above and beyond. Although Clyde can find other, more vicious workers to do this work, he will not let Mark remove Chad from the company. After all, Mark could be able to obtain a deadly medication at the hospital and figure out how to make Chad appear to have been suddenly stricken with a disease. Perhaps Clyde will be depending on Mark to pull off a highly precise murderous scheme in order to allay suspicions. Mark might always get cunning, as he did with the DNA test, and alter Chad's records to hide the true cause of his death. The issue is that Mark won't want to get too involved or see Chad suffer unnecessary harm. Still, according to previews for days, Clyde will let Mark know that his mother's future is in jeopardy. Mark will come to a decision where he must decide between Chad's life and the life of his own mother. Because of Clyde's orders, our DOL predictions indicate that Mark is facing a difficult decision. We'll keep you updated on his next movements. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Clyde will show that he's still as dangerous as ever. Tune in to see him break terrible news to Mark. When Mark spoke with his sister Abigail at the park, he gave her props for her choice to pretend to be married to Chad. Mark was reassured by Abigail that nobody had saw her take the box containing wedding souvenirs from the Horton residence. You've never seen that paper, containing Abigail's wedding vows, before, as far as Chad knows? Mark inquired. Not at all, confirmed Abigail. Abigail sighed and acknowledged that she felt bad for Chad. I understand how difficult this is for you, Mark remarked. For myself? I should be forgotten. I'm being dishonest with him. Does it matter how I feel? Said Abigail. Abigail expressed her dislike of the circumstance to Mark. I detest the hurt, Chad, will feel upon learning the truth. Is the man's experience insufficient? Said Abigail. Your heart is pure. And for that, I adore you. Hey, I'm with you, this hasn't been easy. The man clearly went through a terrible time after his wife was killed, so what better than to lead him to believe that she is back when in reality she never will be? Stated Mark. If they wanted to preserve their mother from Clyde, Abigail emphasized that there was no other option. Mark remarked, liking to Aaron and Felicity is the hardest part for me. Mark observed that Felicity frequently spoke to her mother as though she were in heaven and that their siblings had not handled the news well. Even though it is depressing, we can find solace in the knowledge that this will all soon come to an end. Additionally, that we'll be able to inform them that their mother, our mother, is still alive, stated Abigail. Aaron and Felicity walked into the clearing as Mark said that they had to keep their siblings in the dark. Why are the two of you here? Mark inquired. Aaron remarked, I was taking Felicity to feed the ducks. Felicity handed Mark her work-related pastries. Aaron inquired about Mark's meeting. It was over early, according to Mark. Mark clarified that he had chosen to take a stroll in the park and had happened to meet Abigail Devereaux, his patient. Mark presented Aaron and Felicity to Abigail. 
You seem acquainted, Felicity remarked. I'm pretty sure we haven't met, stumbled Abigail. Aaron and Felicity said their goodbyes and headed for the duck pond when Mark informed that he had to go back to work. I can't believe I just saw my little brother and my little sister after all this time and they didn't even know it was me, Abigail remarked after the siblings had left. Even though Abigail knew she looked different after the plastic surgery, she claimed it still came as a shock. Abigail uttered, I miss them. They're wonderful kids, Mark remarked. Julie came in while Chad was in the Horton living room looking at his children's drawings. Julie said, Chad, we really need to talk. Julie clarified that Charlotte had spotted the box containing Chad's wedding souvenirs while she was dressing up in the attic. The other day, I took that out. In an attempt to see whether Abby might recall anything, I wanted to present it to her, Chad stated. Chad grinned and informed Julie that Abigail had recalled her vows from marriage. It's fantastic. Julie remarked, Wow, I'm glad she remembers something. Will there be a but next? Chad inquired. Julie nodded and said that Charlotte had inquired about speaking with her mother in heaven. I became agitated. I became enraged. Since her mother is not in paradise, Charlotte might speak to her if we so desired. Her mom lives just across the city. It's time for you to inform those kids that their mother is still alive, Chad, if Abigail could see how much her tiny daughter needs you, Julie added. Chad stated that while he supported the concept, Abigail wasn't. Abigail, can't recall the children. Chad remarked, she has no memory of them at all. Julie countered that neither the duration nor the likelihood of Abigail's memory recovery was known. Anyone could converse with the kids. Isn't it preferable to learn that their mother is still alive from their father? Julie inquired. Julie was correct, Chad assured her, and he will let the kids know about Abigail. Abigail received a call from Chad asking her to meet him at the Horton residence. Mark was sitting on a seat in the park, gazing at a picture on his phone. Mom, don't worry. Mark vowed to rescue him from this situation. When Aaron and Felicity came back, they questioned Mark about his absence from the office. I had to take a patient, and I just received a call, Mark stated. Aaron smirked and inquired about Mark's patient. Felicity remarked, I still think she looked familiar. Chad informed Abigail that Julie had taken the children to the bakery when she arrived at the Horton residence. I will be telling the kids the truth when they get home. Chad stated, I want us to let them know that their mother is still alive. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.